What up? I know we going I'm, I'm only going live. What's good, everybody? I ain't going to be able to say what's up to everybody because I ain't going to be able to see everybody that comes through if you come through. But I'm going live because I just got the news. I hit, I hit up a few of my peoples already about this uh, Leo Collins situation, which is crazy. I'm sure all this stuff is going to come out later. But yes, Leo Collins, right tackle Leo Collins suspended for five games. As I said before, I've already hit up two of my people that are pretty close to situations. Um, it's got to be bad, in my opinion, just me, from my from my perspective. The Cowboys don't like suspending nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Cowboys, this is the Cowboys. This ain't even the NFL. So I wonder if something from the NFL is coming and the Cowboys are suspending them first. I don't know. Uh, but as I said before, I reached out to a few of my people that be having a close ear to the Cowboys and, and know some things. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. They're going to let me know uh, what's going on with this situation. But, yeah, this is crazy, man. Like, I don't know. Like, he just played a really good game yesterday. One of the tight ra rated offensive uh, players across the board. He did give up three hurries and three pressures like Connor McGovern did, but no sacks, no penalties. Um, we were, I was happy because I was worried about his neck stinger, um, you know, and they said it had went away. And, um, you know, I was worried about how he was looking in the preseason and he, and he played effectively yesterday. And we needed that, like the team needed that. And this is a huge blow. But just like my, I was listening to uh, my boy, uh, Joe Rob, shout out to Joe Rob out there doing his thing. And he said it, and I 100% and I agree with him. He beat me to the tweet. He was like, if Cowboys are really trying to win, if the Cowboys are really trying to win, you're going to kick Zach Martin out to right tackle for these five games. You're going to put Connor McGovern at right guard because he's probably a better right guard than left guard. You better put him right at right guard. Zach Martin at tackle for these five games. I know Zach Martin ain't your spot, but you're getting paid big money, and you can do it. You play tackle in college. Beatus at center. Connor Williams at guard and Tyron Smith. None of this, like, like I'm bouncing off my boy, so I ain't taking your thoughts, big dog. So I'm just letting you know I ain't taking your thoughts. But, uh, yeah, you know, this shouldn't be – I don't want to see no Terrence Steele, no Nisetsky. I know Dak Prescott has grown enough in his game that he doesn't – he can he can play with regular, like, very uh, uh, under-average type players like them two. But why put him through that when you got – McGovern, who's showing you that you drafted him for a reason. You drafted him in that third round for a reason. You, he's proving you what you think he can do at that guard position. I think I saw somebody say that he was a better right guard than left guard. I tend to agree because when he came in the game, when he came in last year, he played some right guard, and I thought he was more effective. But he's still a he's still a good player regardless. And that just proved it yesterday going against Sue Vita Vea. He, he definitely held his own. No penalties. No sacks given up. Gave up a few hurries, few pressures, but at the end of the day, he played very well. And if the Cowboys are trying to, they're already starting on one. They're going into San Diego. They got the Eagles. They got another few NFC games coming up. Uh, none of this Terrence Steele thing, in my opinion. He's this. Those two guys aren't aren't the dudes. I know they're your swing tackle, but if you throwing out Nashevsky out there at right tackle, that, I mean, it could only help because he's dealing with Zach Martin. But that's just that's just not good. I mean, we saw when Terrence Steele was out there, he didn't improve that much. He got better from last year. Uh, but to me, he's still Terrence Steele. He's an undrafted tackle. He's not – you can't expect crazy things from him because he is undrafted. Nesheski is like 35. He's over the hill. He's – to me, he's done. And if the Cowboys are really trying to win, we know Zach Martin. We know your spot is the right guard. But for five games – Hey, you might have to do it. You might have to take one for the team, big dog. You're getting paid that money. You might have to take one for the team so the Cowboys can keep them moving. The season can't be getting derailed, you know what I'm saying, because you got some influx offensive line, and that's what I was worried about, the cohesion, and it came out very well, uh, no giving up only one sack. So we saw the potential, and I was worried about the cohesion. Now you have this. This is huge. So if Dallas is really trying to be real and do damage control, you don't throw no damn tight Terrence still out there and Ty Nashevsky. Get Zach Martin. He showed it last year. He played tackle in college. I believe it was a left tackle in college. 
the big knock on him was the arms, but he, he's a all pro. He's a Hall of Famer. We show you seen what he can do. Maybe he may not like it. We get it. But you getting paid. You one of the highest paid players at your position. I mean, that's what happens. You're gonna have to flex and move over. But don't keep this Terrence Steele Dinshevsky thing popping, man. You don't need it because it's just gonna stress that right side. It's probably gonna stress Martin. You already lost Michael Gallup for three to five games with the uh, strained calf. That's huge. I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's big. Losing Michael Gallup, so one of your guys going down. So now you just got CD and um, uh, Mario. You saw they still balled out. Uh, so now Noah Brown becomes prevalent. He was un, un he was an active last game. He's going to be active this game. Now Cedric Wilson's going to have to step up. So now you got moving parts that are all going to have to start combining together. Uh, two big blows on the offensive side. The ball, Leo Collins uh, suspended for five games for an undisclosed reason. And Michael Gallup out three to five weeks with the calf injury. Um, so we're going to see. It's uh, kind of crazy. Um, you know, it's kind of hard. Let's we'll see what you guys got to say about it. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's like a P PED situation. and he, I don't know if he got popped for PED. Um I know that's a I know that's like a four game, three to four game suspension, PEDs like four games, I think. So I don't know if it's PED, because we gotta remember. We saw how big he was. It could be something with that in in that aspect. But the Cowboys suspended him. You know what I mean? But um, you know, I do see remember how Collins was huge. He was out of shape, he was ballooned, and then he got in crazy good shape. You know, them, them PEDs and them, them muscle enhance whatever they be doing, that can make it happen like that. So I'm not throwing no rumors out there. So I'm not saying that's what happened to him. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything that happened to him. I'm saying my own speculation. It could be from PED, could be that because you had to get back in camp. You had to get better. That could be it. Uh, but. You know, it's a lot of speculation. I'm waiting on some people that I trust to give me some information. And then we just kind of, you know, kind of go from there. But a huge blow for the Dallas Cowboys. Right tackle Leo Collins suspended for five games for undisclosed reason by the Cowboys, by the organization. Um, so I'm sure this stuff will come out later. Um, you know, I don't know what happened. Um, you know, like I said, it's just, it just, it literally just happened like five to 10 minutes ago, this news. Um, I just pushed it out there to all, all my uh, media sites. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're just going to see. I'm waiting for some people that I know that, you know, deal with the Cowboys to try to get me some answers, you know, uh, to kind of let me know what's going on. Hopefully let me so I can hear some things. But, uh, yeah, it's a huge blow right now, um, losing Leo Collins. Really not didn't need this at that point in time right now, especially after a big game only coming out, losing by two. Uh, the offensive line played very well considering they were going against one of the tougher defensive lines in the NFL. They definitely held their own. And for them to lose something like this right now is uh, definitely a big blow. Can definitely bounce back from it, but as I said before, if the Cowboys are really trying to win, they're really trying to make it happen, you kick that Zach Morton out that right tackle, you put Connor McGovern at that right guard because he show you what he can do. You have Beatish at the center, you have Connor Williams at that left guard, and you put Tyron Smith at that left tackle and keep it pushing until Collins comes back. That's just me. Nah, he ain't solid to me. Todd Nischewski ain't solid. He hasn't looked solid all preseason. Now, all of a sudden, you're going to magically start. The feet looked like they was in concrete. He was getting beat off the edge, and these weren't starters that were beating Nischewski out the edge. Terrence still, still getting beat. Nischewski, him, Nischewski, and Brandon Knight were the three most highest pressured offensive linemen in the preseason for the Cowboys. I think Brandon Knight led the team with eight pressures. Nisitsky, Nisitsky and Ty, um, Terrence Steele were right behind him with four pressures and hurries and hits. So, no, I don't want that. I don't. I, if you did that in the pre, you did it last year. You're doing it again in the preseason. You're going to do it in the regular season when it really counts. You're not going to magically all of a sudden start blocking. I'm not believing the solid Nisesky thing because you was, I don't know. I didn't I didn't know anything about him prior. All I know is what I've seen and what I've seen in that preseason. 
guys were killing you off that edge, that speed you were having trouble with. And if you had trouble with that and you got Bose and them boys coming in this week and what? You're going to really throw Ty and Terrence, Terrence Steele or them guys against Joey Bose and them guys? Heck no. You better do the right thing and put Zach Martin out there, bro. You better do the right thing and put Zach Martin out there and keep it pushing, especially if it's five games. It's not like it's the whole year. It's five games. They got to do the right thing and make that happen and not play the games because, to me, you're playing games and you're not really – yeah, you have swing tackles for a reason, but you can also flex guys if you're trying to really win games. And right now we don't need – well, the Cowboys don't need, to me, in my opinion, any kind of stuff like this, especially for the Mike McCarthy regime. He already dealt with them injuries last year. You had the uneven season. There can't be no – uh, bad season for the Cowboys this year, especially for Mike McCarthy. So they got to figure that out. And if I'm trying to win, I would go to be going to Zach Martin right now and saying, listen, I know you don't like tackle. I got it. I get it. It's five games. Can you please take this one for the team? You ain't, this ain't no permanent move. You not staying there. We get it. We know it, but we trust you more than we got these backups. We know we got these backups for a reason, but they ain't making no kind of money. You are. So I'd rather go with somebody who can do it make the money and take those chances with him than some cheap guys that ain't going to really be doing. Nesheski ain't going to be with the team next year. Terrence Steele, you was undrafted. Ain't nobody beating down the door for Terrence Steele. So are, are you trying to win or are you trying to do a Band-Aid to get by? Why why risk it? Didn't run a lot uh, in this past game. We saw uh, the running game wasn't great. It's going to take a hit if you keep Nesheski or a Terrence Steele in there. It's going to take a, a hit. So to me, do the right thing. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'll update the page as soon as um, I get some more information. Um, as soon as I can, I'm headed to the crib. So, you know, I'm going to be looking up some stuff, checking out some stuff. So if I get some information, and um, I'll definitely let you guys know, and uh, we'll see what happens. But big, uh, big, uh, big blow for the Cowboys uh, on the offensive front. Uh, receiver Michael Gallup has a calf injury and he'll be out three to five weeks. And Leo Collins just got suspended by the team for undisclosed reason for five games. We'll try to find out what's going on. Yeah, you definitely better might be calling some Joe Looney back. I'm sure he'll jump right back in it. So we'll see. Uh, but I'm out of here, man. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. And make sure you just keep on uh, tuning into the Big Game James page. We got some videos dropping. And hopefully we'll have some more news on this Leo Collins situation. But I'm out of here. Peace. Yep, substance abuse violation. I knew it. I knew it. it says uh, 105. I knew it was the PED. Yep, that's why I figured. It had to be. I don't know if it's PED, but I knew it was had to be some kind of substance abuse, and especially if the team did it. So I wonder what kind of substance abuse what it was, because I know they don't really disclose those type of things. They just do it. Yeah, so... It's always something, but we'll see what happens. Big Game James, I'll talk to you soon. I'm out. Peace.